Besides, I desperately need vitamin D. I'm gonna use my submarine to find it. Sammy, you don't need to set sail. <laughs> There's vitamin D in milk. No, Sue, vitamin D means delight. And I become delighted only from new experiences and impressions. Then we can craft something awesome. By the way, your submarine gave me a great idea. Actually, I can sail away after crafting. Let's do it! Guys, are you ready for a portion of vitamin D? And I'm talking about delight, of course. <laughs> that was Sam's interpretation. So, how will we get those new impressions? We'll make an extraordinary house. One half of it will be underwater. Does that sound impressive enough to you, Sammy? Wow! This adventure will be even cooler than a journey on my handmade submarine! Yep, underwater life can be very beautiful and mysterious, right? But let's make the upper part of the house first. Add a tiny bit of glue. This part will be placed above the water surface. So we can easily enjoy the stunning seascape from there. And after that, we can swim and play water polo! So cool! Oh, I remember it took me so long to learn how to swim. There's nothing hard in it. Just lay on your back and relax. Oh, thanks, Sam. <laughs> but that's right. Once you master the positioning, swimming is just a piece of cake and you can enjoy the full process. I've got one question about this house. How will we breathe underwater? Well, I know one cool breathing technique, actually. It demands a lot of patience and practice. Nah, shoot, that sounds too boring. <laughs> Guys, to attach this lamp properly, we need to place all the wires neatly. Okay, Sue, tell me your way of underwater breathing. Maybe it's not as boring as I thought. Well, this technique is practiced by divers and professional swimmers. You'll need to practice holding your breath for long periods of time. <gasps> okay, what's next? <laughs> now hold your breath for as long as you can. But remember, it'll be hard to do the same when you're underwater. <sighs> no, it'll take too long. I need to master underwater breathing before the end of our craft. <laughs> Sammy, I'm not a wizard. Although, sometimes... I can also do some magic. <laughs> Looking good, huh? Aha! Uh -huh. I know, Sue! I'll grow gills! It seems like they're really useful for an underwater lifestyle. Okay... May I ask how exactly you're gonna do that? Oh! Yeah, oh I'll eat as much sushi as my stomach can hold! No! Oh. <laughs> a very exotic way. Let me know if it works. Because something tells me that even the Japanese don't know this property of sushi. <laughs> One last piece. Guys, the base of our house is almost ready. Here's the other part. It looks awesome! Now, we can start making furniture and the inside decorations. Guys, do you want to learn more about underwater breathing? Sammy, I'm afraid your advice is only about eating something tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what's wrong with that? Well, if you want to achieve something awesome, you need to make some effort. It's the law. Sue, you're too pragmatic. Anyway, I've already ordered a couple of sushi sets, so soon we'll see the results. Uh, I'm not pragmatic. I'm just trying to think in reality. Even in fairy tales, characters have to make an effort to learn a fairy tale wonder. Example. I need an example. Oh, uh, well, the most obvious example is Cinderella. Remember how hardworking she was? But in the end, she got a magical dress and married her prince. Interesting. I never thought about that. Actually, I've also made a lot of effort to eat all the sushi. <laughs> Great work, Sammy. So decorating the house with these beautiful pieces of furniture is very interesting, but I can't wait to see our house under the water. Sammy, why are you in such a hurry? Oh, maybe your gills have already grown? Nope, I'm in the process of digesting sushi now. Actually, the third set was too much. <laughs> and don't change the subject. What about the underwater part? We need to finish with the upper part of the house first. But why, so? Because it'll act as the base for the underwater part. Our house is a merhouse? Sue, do you remember our doll transformation craft? Oh, that was awesome! Remember you even mixed up my singing with the mermaids? Yeah, your singing is awesome! Oh, thank you, Sammy. I do love singing, and I'm usually inspired by the fairy tale about mermaids. One of my favorites is Anderson's famous The Little Mermaid Story. 
A story? There are dozens of YouTube videos about the mermaid lifestyle. I know, but this one was published in 1837. Such a long time ago. That story became very popular. That's why there's so many videos, movies, and other artworks featuring The Little Mermaid. There's also a statue of a mermaid in Copenhagen where the story was written. I do love the plot of this fairy tale. It tells about the little mermaid who wanted to give up her life in the sea. But why? There's so much cool stuff under the water. For example, pearls. Because, Sammy, she wanted to get a human soul. What for? Oh, Sammy, mermaids live only 300 years because they don't have souls, while the human soul can live forever. Cool. If I lived 300 years, I'd make so many cool crafts. She gave away something very precious to become a human, her voice. I'd never give away my stunning voice. You come to my garden. A beautiful voice in a beautiful garden. If I were a mermaid, I'd always eat a seaweed salad. It's rich with vitamins and very tasty. And if I were a mer slime, I'd have the fanciest fish tail covered with gemstones. Okay, Sammy, we only have the balcony left. And now we can make the fanciest underwater house. Oh, underwater life is really awesome. It feels like I'm filling up with vitamin D right now. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. When we make the second part of our house, you'll become the most delighted slime in the whole world. Guys, check out the water line that will separate the two parts of the house. So I've got one awesome idea. You'll like it for sure. Sammy, I do like every idea of yours. It's just sometimes they're too unrealistic. This one's very special. Go on, amaze me as usual. Guys, give a thumbs up if Sam's creativity also never ceases to amaze you. Pajama party! <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. Uh, why exactly would I be amazed by a pajama party? I've already visited dozens of those and have even thrown a couple myself. And this is a special one. At this party, everyone will find their underwater soulmate. <laughs> Sammy, isn't that too late? This year's Valentine's Day has already passed. Not a romantic soulmate. I mean, you can find a good friend there. As for me, I've always wanted to make friends with a stingray. Oh, yeah. They're sweet. And you can find a lot in common with a jellyfish. Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm not a big fan of getting stung. I'd like to have small talk with a dolphin, though. People say they're very friendly. Well, that's true, because dolphins are extremely intelligent animals. Comparing the ratio size of the brain to the body, dolphins are the second right after humans. And one more awesome fact, dolphins sleep with only one half of their brain. Yeah, just like me when I have to get up early. <laughs> to protect our house from water pressure, we've made this transparent wall. Now we can admire the view. And not to worry about our respiratory system. Absolutely. And the second floor will be as safe and as comfy as the first one. Guys, this green carpet is made in a seaweed style. You know that I'm keen on a smart design. Don't you mean beautiful, Sue? How can a design be smart? Look at her house, and you'll understand. Uh, I still need your explanation. A smart design means that one main idea unites all the details. That's basically how style is created. So the smart design of our house can be called underwater life? Absolutely. Every detail reminds us of the sea and creates this underwater vibe. Okay, this part is ready, but we still need to add some water over here. Guys, what do you think? Do I look nice and blue? Sammy, I can endlessly watch you fitting different styles. <laughs> By the way, there are three things you can watch forever. Fire, water, uh, what's the third? Watch other people's work. <laughs> Luckily, sometimes I can use magic. Yo, these fish are trying to tell me something. They just want to be in their place. It looks awesome. These walls create a super cozy atmosphere around the house. Guys, we need to connect both parts, and that's it. Oh, I almost forgot this must-have detail. <laughs> Perfect. Let's check out the whole house. And when our awesome pajama party starts, we'll switch on the light like this. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi guys, today Sue and I are doing something really important. We're helping other people. <laughs> I doubt that our design idea is really that important, but okay. Hi guys. So Sammy, you said a beach house. We'll make it compact but functional. Let's set up this wall first to divide the space between the patio and the studio. Good that you left some space for a pool here, Susie. The client mentioned one. Well, it's good that you told me about that before I started. Oopsie, my bad. Maybe there's something else I should know about what the client wants. Hmm, he might have mentioned something about a piano. Okay, I think we'll have room for that. Anything else? He used to be a sailor, so he really wants something nautical in the house. Okay, we'll think of something at the interior design stage. But let's start with the exterior, or the outside part of the beach house. Sammy, would you be so kind as to pass me a few more of these? A lawn around the pool? What a refreshing idea! Thank you. We'll glue it right here. Guys, if you've missed other miniature houses we've built, you can find them on our channel. But first, watch this till the end. And that's it. Now let's make the entrance door look neat. Much better. So, where should I put this patio furniture? Right here, Sammy. Next to this house-like bookshelf. I like the way the anchor looks here. Can we put something nautical on the other side too? Alrighty. Ah, now you're talking. Sue, so, let's put these in the pool to make it look more real. Great idea, Sammy. One goes here and another one right here. Huh, looks cool. You bet, Susan. I'm the great master of design, don't you remember? Ta-da! Wow, Sammy. You even thought about the lighting. Guys, give Sammy a thumbs up. I also have a few ideas on how to make it brighter here, even at night. Let's put these wires through the opening. I don't want to seem too picky, but don't you think the ladder could be more creative? And it will be, Sammy, when we start building the second floor. This is just the element of decor. Let's place it right here. See? Don't worry, Sammy. I know you're a one-of-a-kind designer, but I also have a few tricks of my own. Check this out. Not bad. Oh, what a high praise. <laughs> A diving board? We can hold diving competitions! <laughs> Did you forget that this model is not for our house? Hmm, right. <gasps> I'll go ask our neighbor. Maybe he'll like this idea too. While Sam's away, we can check out what we've done. Perfect. This piano goes along with the chair. I wonder where Sammy is. Have you seen him, guys? I'm here, Susie. I've cleared it with the neighbor. Also, look what I made. Wow, check this out, guys. It's a lighthouse. It looks so realistic. And it's literally going to light the house. Great job, Sam. Thumbs up to me. I'm Sam, the builder of lighthouses. Woo! Uh, it's an important job, right, Sue? Of course, Sammy. They built lighthouses in ancient times to help sailors find their way back to the mainland. Actually, the most famous one, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, was built many years ago. It's even considered to be one of the wonders of the world. Oh, I've got so many design ideas! Be right back! While someone is full of ideas, I have plenty of work to do. <laughs> First, let's make our furniture cozier. That's better. And one more detail. It's a coffee table to complete this furniture set. The owner of the house will need a place to sleep, so the next step is to assemble the bed. Cool, I like it. But let's also add a wonderful blanket. Love it. As well as this headboard. Aha! A nautical style comforter. You read my mind, Sue. I can take that off of my checklist. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Sammy. What else do you have there? The sailor's bedroom. <gasps> Oh no! Sue, we forgot about the second floor! Relax, Sammy. Look, I'm about to finish with the stairs. All I can see is a bunch of wood and a rope. Oh, come on, Sammy. Think creatively. We'll have something that resembles a rope ladder on the ship. 
Only this is not a ladder, but a banister. We'll glue the rest, and you'll see. So I've never doubted your creativity. But I still don't get it! <laughs> don't worry, Sammy. Just give me one more minute. Hop, hop, hop! Guys, be careful with the glue and all these tiny pieces. Now I see it, Sue! I bet our client will love it! Then help me and make another banister for the second floor. Aye, aye, Captain Sue! And the staircase is finally done. Now we need to make sure that it leads somewhere. But before we set up the second floor, let's decorate this area. It's better to do that now. Now the walls don't look empty, right? And the lighting. We'll hide the wires and set the lamp here, like that. That's a perfect place for our piano, as promised. Ahoy, Susan! The banister is ready! <gasps> what?! Holy cannoli! You started the most interesting part without me! Come on, Sammy! There's plenty of work for both of us! Wanna set the staircase? Of course! Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity! All done! This room needs to be bright. So we'll put your lighthouse right here, Sammy. The wires go down. And done! I'll get the couch! Ugh. And the armchair! Uh, some cushions! Ouch! Uh, I'm tired, too. I'm out of energy! Need some chocolate! <laughs> okay, Sammy. I'll take it from here. There we go. A small rug goes here. It looks like a net and it will remind the house's owner of the sea. Here comes the coffee table. I also added this cute candle. Hmm, but it still looks a bit empty, don't you think, guys? <gasps> I've got an idea! That's better. Hey, Sammy! Are you feeling recharged yet? It's time to decorate the master bedroom! Let's do this, Susie! Well, seems a bit tricky to put that bed here. Carrying it along these stairs with my backache! <laughs> okay, okay, I got it, Mr. Grand Helper. I'll do it myself. We'll put the banister made by Sam right here. The owner of the house can feel like they're on deck of a ship while standing here. <laughs> Done. Every night in my dreams, I see you. Oh, I Sammy, no Titanic you. story here. But why? Nothing's gonna rack, and nobody's gonna fall into the ocean. Yeah, thanks to protective measures. I like your idea, Sammy. This one goes here, and the other one here. Perfect. Let's add a few pictures on both sides of the bed. Oh, I love how this is coming out. If I were one of our viewers, I'd give so many likes. And would you subscribe to our channel? Definitely! We're almost there. Let's use a little bit of magic to make everything perfect. One, two, three! Whoa, well, let me try, let me try! One, two, three! One, two, three! Susie! It didn't work, Sue! <laughs> Look, you've conjured some plants! and greenery on the patio. Wow, so it did work! Make it worse if we remove this. No, 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 don't you dare! We can't show people something that is worse than perfect! <laughs> okay, Sammy, but we need to check one more tiny thing in our beach house. <gasps> Great! It works! <laughs> 